Rock 2. Now, this is a map. This is a good map. In fact, this is a great map that, you know, I've spent a lot of time on and had a lot of fun on. But if you're actually trying to, like, you know, score and win and, like, you know, come out as a victor, not going to happen. You know, Two Fort's famous for kind of, like, having stalemates. This might be one of the most unwinnable multiplayer maps I've ever played in any game. Which, you know, that's not a bad thing necessarily because it's just fun to play and, like, you know, try to win. But this map is both well designed to the point where, you know, there's, like, you know, a lot of, op like, strategic opportunities to, like, potentially win. And there's so many good defensive points. It's so well designed that it's fundamentally impossible for, like, I'm convinced. I'm convinced on, like, every time I played this on, like, every, like, a real server with real people, no one has ever actually captured the key here, which I'll explain what I mean by that. I know it's possible, you know, obviously if the other team is doing a really terrible job and the, like, you know, the enemy team is, like, coordinated enough, they'll eventually go score a point. I am convinced, though, that un under normal circumstances on a normal server, no one ever actually scores any points on this map. You could d debate me on this. So a couple things. I believe that this is loosely based off the movie The Rock, which I've surprisingly never watched all the way. You know, the one with Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage. Um, yeah, I don't believe I've ever actually watched it. Like, you know, like all the way I've seen, obviously, clips from it. Um, I think this is based off of that, though. Someone, like, you know, more well-versed in that movie could back me up. Uh, the other thing is, aesthetically, as I go around this map, I gotta point out, this is one of my absolute favorite Team Forge's classic, but, like, maps in terms of aesthetic. Like, you know... This shows that even back in the day, you could do, like, a really awesome, like, you know, multiplayer map and, like, have it look great. Like, you didn't have to sacrifice anything in, like, when it comes to the visual, like, you know, design. So, anyway, here you go. This is the central area. This is more important than it looks because this water is going to be very important. I'm also going to be showing these off in a bit, too. But, yeah, basically, there's going to be a lot of fighting going on. And, you know, obviously with the snipers around and all that, you're really going to want to try to take as much advantage as you can as the water. Especially if, like, you know, the sniper on the other team is really good. So entering into here, you got this nice open area. You got a, a nice place to, like, you know, like, you know, build some sentries. Or, like, even be the demo man and lay down some traps. If you want to be sniper, you got to take the elevator and you ride it up here. And obviously this lets you get you up to this little sniping area. This will also lead you back into the yard area, which is like one of the major, the major junction of the, the bases. You got a little resp resupply area if you need it. And here's a protection suit, which you'll see what that is needed for in a bit. Um, so here you got some ways to go. You got the yard, which if you're on the enemy team, uh, you really don't want to be spending a whole lot of time here. I'm just going to be blunt. Um, so how it works is, is if you're on the enemy team, and you come through here, um, the, like, you see these lights? They're not just for show. Um, they will light up and point at you. In fact, I think even in the other areas, too. I can't quite remember, because it's been a while since I've... Yeah, see? Like that. You're gonna immediately get your ass wrecked, if you're not careful. So you're gonna want to take an... Oh, yeah, and even there, too. I, I, I knew it. I always forget every time, but yeah, they'll even light up there. I can't believe the enemies grabbed the key, but that's the thing. No one... Yeah, look at that. Nothing ever happens. It's just immediately dropped. So yeah, I'm going to show you how... Like, not, Don't ever go through here. And you might be wondering, how do you do that? That's the only real way you can get through if you're on the enemy team, right? Well, we'll be getting to that in a second. Obviously, the snipers are going to be around or whoever. going to be taking advantage of the fact that you're like a sitting duck, basically. So, let's take a look around here. Well, first, let me point out. There's the key. This is your objective of the map. There's a red key and a blue key, of course. And as well in the game files, this is Valve covering all their bases. There's actually a green and yellow key as well. Go figure. Um, see, there's the Warden's Office and the Library. Now, if you go to the Warden's Office, that's where you find the key. Um, this is like, it, it kind of connects into the library, as you can see. You have to go, this is where it's found. You die, exactly. The key for your, your team's key is found here, so you want to be defending this room at all costs. Don't do it like that. Fuck! God! 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 I keep pressing space too many times. Okay, fuck. That was horrible. I apologize. Let's go to the red team. Let's go. Let's go this way. This is- it gives some variety. But yeah. 
You want to be defending this hallway at all costs. Obviously, there's a side area with the library, which is uh, helpful if you're the attacking team and you want to try to have a different way to get around, or if you're spy or just whatever. There's a lot of good things here, but you got to be careful because this is also a spawn point. So, you know, and uh, the thing about the spawn point is you can get up to this upper area from here. And obviously, if you couldn't connect the dots, um, there's another, like, little area here you can also get in from this area. So, yeah, you gotta be really careful. You already kind of see what I mean, where it's, like, it's kind of impossible to ever win on this map. Because look at how many different things you gotta contend to if you want to have the Warden's Key. I mean, there's options, uh, like, you know, other options of even getting here, as I'll point out in a bit. But once you grab the Warren's key, that's not it. You gotta then go across here. And then go into this area here. And you see this gas chamber? That's very important. I'll get you gotta take that key. You know, get through all this shit. And I, I, I you're looking, right? You see all these potential areas that the opposing team. Like just from there, not even counting that way. There's all these little areas up here that, you know, you could be a demo man throwing down bombs, a heavy weapons guy, sentry, uh, engineer building sentry guns. You see all these little different areas connected to, like, you know, basically this little area where you could hide in and have some cover. And, like, look at this. Look at it. And it connects to this area over here. So, like, you have to get, you being the attacking team, have to, like, you know, person, even with a well-coordinated team, have to get through all this shit. Or if the other team is equally coordinated, they're going to be building stuff. They're going to be prepping up. Right next to spawn point, I might add. Uh, you could also go through here, and this is very important in a bit. Th that right there is very important. Uh, especially if you're on the attacking team. It's not, it makes things a lot entirely pointless. Uh, see, so there's a couple ways to go. Now, if you're the defending team, you can actually get up here to another little area with resupplies and like those suits I'll bring up. And this is also another way to get back over to the top art here if you need to. Now, what happens if you take that key, if it, by some miracle, by the powers of Zeus and like Narnia and Hercules, you, you make it and actually put, and look it, there's still more places to defend by the way. See, they're already prepping up. If you could somehow get that key to this fucking thing right here, you actually score a point. And what happens is about 12 seconds after you get that key in this place. Um, there will be a deadly nerve gas that's going to kill everyone um, in the enemy base. Now, as you can see here, if you're the one who put the key there, I think there's a door here, I'm pretty certain, that locks you in so you can't die. But everyone, including, I think, both friend and enemy that is in this base here is going to die. And, like, they're going to lose a point just to demoralize on top of, the like, you know, your team points going up. Now, there's a couple ways to survive, of course. That's what these suits are for. Um, it spawns in, and then you can survive the gas, but I think it's only one per room. So th there's gonna be some casualties. Um, that too, if you're in the center area in the water, uh, cause I think it kills the people in the center area too. Um, if you're in the water, you'll survive too. Now let's get back to the water real quick, because this is leading into the, uh, some of that, like, helpful stuff I was hinting about. You'll have noticed these little areas down here. Well... These leads to this, like, little disconnected mine area. Um, see, and it tells you red team, blue team. If you go down this way, be, watch the gap, and don't ever do, like, worry about this, because you'll, like, you know... You can build some teleporters and stuff here, but don't walk backwards. You'll fall and die, and that's just no good. If you're a demo man, you can set a debt pack here. And that's important, because what happens when you set that debt pack is that now, now, you can go this way, and you'll notice it's kind of leading into... This little area here. Well, remember that shower area? Here you go. So it doesn't necessarily help you immediately get the card, but it'll at least give you another way in. So, you know, now they'll have to watch two ways to go, right? And, like, you know, especially if you're, like, you know, the key was dropped here, and, like, you're trying to, like, push and get that key, like, you know, keep it active, that'll help, the, that'll help you, right? Now, the thing is, that's not it. That's not it. I'm going to go back down real quick. And by the way, I, it's also worth mentioning that it's not hopeless uh, if you're the on the defending team and this could blow it up. If this blows up, um, you can blow this up again as a demo, like a demo man on the, like the the actual team. If you want to close this up, you can. You just have to lay another debt pack down. Now, see this here. You can also lay down a debt pack here, and then this will bring you a hole. As you can see, it's like kind of like obviously the graphics aren't finished. But yeah, here you go. This will open up a hole here 
that'll bring you right close to the warden's office. This hole, if you're careful, will help you a lot in grabbing the key. But then you have to, like, you know, once all those holes are open, you really got to coordinate. This one is permanent. If you let this hole get opened up, there's nothing you can do about it. You can close that one in the, like, you know, the mineshaft proper here all you want. But this one is a done deal. There's nothing you can fucking do about it. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, this is, there's a reason why I brought up this map. It's just a complete stalemate at all times. Even with all that shit opened up, good luck being able to, like, coordinate to get everything figured out. I've maybe seen once, once in an actual, like, you know, Team Fortress Classic server, someone actually get the gas, like, thing, like, you know, deposited properly. I just, I refuse to believe it'll ever actually happen. But besides that awesome map, one of my favorites. Like, seriously, I just love the light, and like, you know, the, it's like really dark and dingy, and then you're like crumbing up this way, right? And you like, you see this like little line up here? Oh, it's so good. I just, I think, you know, the sad thing is, just to go on tangent real quick while I'm waiting for the bots to spawn in. As far as I'm aware, um, I just want to check, dude, I actually set a time limit? I did. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's never been revealed who did, um, at Valve, who did what, like, you know, map and stuff like that, unlike in Half-Life, so that's a real shame. I'd like to give credit where credit's due to whoever, like, the work that they did. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh yeah, by the way, 32 people, definitely 32 people. This map is more than big enough to, like, you know, sufficiently hold everyone. Alright, so I'm gonna start- I don't know if I'll stay as Demo Man, but I'm definitely gonna start out off as Demo Man just to get the- You wanna get those- that mineshaft open ASAP. The, no sense not, like, you know. It's a complete, like, you know, strategic dead end not to get that opened up ASAP. Yeah, see. Take a step back real quick, and... Anticlimactic. But yeah, no, there you go. See, now it's opened up. Easy stuff. I don't know if the Demo Man gets more than one per life. Oh, looks like they do. Well, well, if that's the case, I might as well just take advantage and see if I can get this key locked up here. I don't even think I've ever, like, you know, gotten the point, like, you know, an actual, like, key captured with the bots. Like, you know, I think it's genuinely impossible, I swear to God. Oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking about earlier. I think if you come through that way, like, a hidden way, the light doesn't, like, you know... I'll light up there, so that's a little bit helpful. It's not gonna help you too much, because obviously, you know, this map isn't actually that dark. Especially in, like, a modern system, so you'll be able to see the other team pretty well. Still, though, it is gonna, like, hinder some efforts. Oh, I forgot how water physics work. You're gonna be seeing a fuck ton of goddamn, uh, backpacks down that way, I might add. Yeah, they're just... Oh. Oh. Well, that was fucking awkward. What the hell was that about? He was like a lost child, just didn't know what to do. Yeah, I say, watch it, watch it. I bet you fucking anything that and after I'm making a big deal how unwinnable this map is, I was about to say, watch them get ca watch that key get captured. Eh, I better not go that way. I'll go around. Obviously, too, the you can if someone does blow your hole, you can totally take advantage of that, like that medic did there. Gives you another way too, so it is a little bit of a double-edged sword, but obviously it's going to benefit uh, your team more than the other team. I think the fact that the key returns when it's been like you know, you know, grabbed by the enemy team and uh, like it's stuff like that is what makes this map so like you know so much of a stalemate. I feel the map, like, the, the key actually stayed where it was at all, like, after it's been picked up. And it just stays there forever. I feel that would actually make it a lot more winnable because you then eventually, like, you know, you gotta, like, you know, the other team could start pushing really hard to just grab it. And, like, you know, the, the, the defending team has to move their strategies around more. Whereas, like, you know, if it goes back, there's no reason to, like, have to move your sentry guns or, like, your really well thought out you know, like, you know, defensive placements and stuff like that. So it's just, it's no wonder it's such a stalemate. You know, it'd be helpful if the engineer would build, engineers here would build some freaking teleporters. I, if when I, oh, well, the, I just, like, speak of the devil, but we still need to exit. It's especially helpful if they'll, like, the engine, you get an engineer to build a teleporter in the mineshaft after the devil man's done their work. 
Because you can just fly in here and just get have get constant pressure. I don't know, did I bring it up yet? Looking at like the patch notes for this game? That the teleporters for the like the to the um engineer's ability to build teleporters apparently did not exist in this game until the game was released on Steam. I, I shit you not, I thought they always had the ability to do that. But when I was researching, like, you know, this game and, like, seeing the order that maps came out and stuff like that, I, I dug through the official map, map, like, patch notes and stuff like that, and I was reading, and yeah, there was a patch note for, like, you know, the initial Steam release that said, Engineers now have ability to... And teleporters... Or, engineers now have the ability to f get shot in the head. Um... Engineers now have the ability to, like, build teleporters and stuff, and that actually blew my mind. Like, I know that, um, Team Fortress, like, Quake Team Fortress, they had experimented out in one version of that, with giving, like, letting the engineers build teleporters, but the Quake, like, sort, like, the Quake engine code just could not handle it, so they had to cut it out there. I did not realize, though, that, that, that like, they didn't add that into this game until so late. Because remember, this game had been out for frickin' four years by the time that they added that, like, you know, added in the ability to do that. This, these snipers, like, see what I mean? Like, how could you realistically expect me? I gotta start going around and taking the higher level, I think. But how do you realistically expect anyone to survive this onslaught? Actually, in all honesty, I just feel that the, um, bots on, like, the, the, on this, like, this match are on, usually on point. Like, they're really on their A game. The, the heavy weapons guys, the snipers, even the other classes. And, like, I, I usually have it so all the bots are, like, you know, kind of, a. Uh, Random skill so there could be bad idiot bots and like really really good bots, but no they all seem to be good right now I didn't change anything like look at that. Nope. 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 Oh shit. Here we go At least get it going. That's what's important Gas chamber. I love how the Vox says that don't mind me Okay, there you go. Good. You gotta push. That's it. It's time. We just gotta fucking push. I gotta see this happen. I'll be able to sleep real easy tonight if I can actually make this capture. I mean, still, it's just against like bots. It doesn't matter too much. But still, God, that would just light up my day. Oh, fuck off! Of course, now they're going to propagate. Come on, we got to do this. It's time's running out. Okay, fuck it. I'm just going to... Oh, well, that did absolutely nothing for me at all. I wanted to like conked up across and like just zip through the freaking entrance, but no, I just smacked against the wall and went flit limp dick. That's not how it's good. Just grab it. Just go. Touch it. Oh! Oh! Do I, well, I am just going to take my nipple and put it in a blender. See, now they're just getting smart. They know. I mean, this AI, Foxbot doesn't have AI learning as far as I'm aware, but sometimes I fear that they actually kind of like adapt to what you're doing if you do it enough. But I really can't think of any other options because if I go through the front door, I'm going to get shot at anyway. I mean, I could switch into the class, but I'm still the only scout as far as I'm aware. I mean, there's no demo man still, so. I mean, the other, the bot team, the other team hasn't figured out the blow up or shaft yet, so. I guess that's a good thing. A teleporter exit! Oh, thank fuck! Alright. In the entrance to our gas chamber side. Well, that doesn't help me. That doesn't help me! Come on now. I mean, back to my uh, comment on the teleporters the other day. Remember, and uh, I think it was in the Crossfire video on for Team Fortress Classic, I brought up how I really liked how this looked, and how it looked all high res and stuff. And that makes a lot of sense now if this is added in, like, you know, what, four years after the fact? And why it looks so much, so good? The textures are so high res? It, may, it really adds up. I, I, he, he just saw that. He was like, he was just new. He foresaw that I was coming up that hit, like, you know, out of that hole. His aim was so flawless. If you followed, like, you know, if you looked at how that bot, like, his later thing moved there. It was like on my head for like an hour before he even shot me. He just knew. He was ready. That was his destiny. My goodness. That was a wasted conk. 
Oh, fuck. Well, at least I cleared one of them, hopefully. Good! Not good! I do find it amusing that the key floats above the person, the head of the person who's holding it. That's quality. Alright, we got this man, Mr. Man. You are the man! You're the man now, dog! That didn't sound like Sean Connery at all, but that's all good. Yeah, you got this. Fucking heavy weapons, man. You're not the dog of the man now, man dog. Man. Well, I put him out of his misery. He would have wanted that. Where's the exit to? Come on now. Somewhere good, hopefully. Main front entrance way. You are a disappointment! Got a cock jump, I think. Yes, yes, yes! That's a ticket! That's almost a ticket, I think. I gotta keep trying that. What? Oh, he pulled through, though, but I imagine you're kind of in pain. Well, thankfully, the heavy weapons guy's armor is still super dumb in this game. What do you do? Why? Why? You know, I've been playing this for like 20 minutes and they still haven't figured out to blow this up. I'm actually genuinely kind of surprised because even then the bots, usually within the first like seven or eight minutes, will have that blown up. That's weird. Okay, let's do it. Holy shit. Holy shit. This might be it, guys. Uh... Oh, maybe, 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 maybe. I hate everything with a passion that is unknown on this earth. 